guys, welcome back to another episode of Blitzkrieg Spearfishing and a warm welcome to you. In today's episode what I'm going to be doing is making a short tutorial about pumping for cracker shrimp. Now for those of you that don't know what cracker shrimp is, it's basically the local name in South Africa that we give to sand for. So I know a lot of guys in America and other parts of the world, they refer to it as sand prawn. Um, down here in South Africa, we refer to it as cracker shrimp. So it's pretty much a staple bait for a lot of fish um, that you're gonna be catching here in South Africa. So things like your spotted grunter and there's quite a few other fish species that um, eat them as bait. So I just wanted to make a tutorial on how to actually pump for cracker shrimp. So I'm going to be heading down to Durban Harbour today with my buddy Cameron and we're just going to do a little bit of pumping as we like to say and we're just going to go and get ourselves some nice fresh bait because there's nothing like fresh bait. That fresh bait always works the best I find. Now something I just want to touch on briefly is the legality um, regarding uh, this type of bait or cracker shrimp. Now I know a lot of people um, use cracker shrimp, a lot of fishermen use it as bait which is really good but there is actually a license required if you are wanting to use cracker shrimp as bait. Um, so yeah it's it's actually number nine on your fishing permits that you have to have checked if you want to use cracker shrimp as bait um, in Durban. So yeah, just be careful of that one. I don't want you guys to end up getting fined or anything like that. So I just wanted to put this out there in the beginning of the video. Um, yeah, it's number nine on your fishing permit. You have to have that checked obviously with your regular angling um, permit as well I think that's number one so number one and nine if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah you have to have that checked um, in fact I was fishing in the harbor the other day and there was a gentleman fishing next to me and unfortunately the police came and searched him um, to see what bait he was using he was using cracker shrimp uh, he was then asked to produce his angling license and also his um, bait license for cracker which he didn't have either of those so that guy actually ended up getting quite a nasty fine um, I spoke to him briefly afterwards he was very upset and I think he said to me that he got fined 1,500 rand if I'm not mistaken um, so that's a really nasty one uh, you don't want to get into that sort of situation so yeah, I just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention. I do have my angling license. I have several licenses, in fact. Um, spearfishing, angling, uh, general bait license, or the cracker shrimp license, and a few other ones too. So I'm perfectly legal. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to bring, you, bring that to your guys' attention. Um, so yeah, just be careful of that one. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, so we're in Durban Harbour as you can see and we're gonna do a little bit of pumping today. Got my buddy Cameron here. We're gonna do a little bit of pumping in the harbour. We're gonna see if we can get some cracker for bait. It's low tide right now, so it should be easy. So we just wanna get a little bait before we start off our session. It's a bit more shallow this way. Watch out for crabs, there's a big crab there. There's a Mursa big crab there. Oh, there, he's gonna pinch your toe, watch out. Hey guys, so we're at the front of the jetty here at the harbour and I just wanted to point something out at low tide. I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually a pipeline under the water here, directly in front, not too far. And I've just found myself another beautiful sinker. So guys are obviously getting stuck on that quite a bit. I think I might have actually got stuck on that too. Okay, let's do this. Okay. On the ground is really hard here, eh? 
Not even letting me get in at all, bro. It's very different to down there. Hey, I got another sinker! Woohoo! Pyramid! Look at that. And I found another one earlier too. Yeah, always collect lead wherever I go. Good. Oh, I get the feeling there's a tape wheel here. Oh, the ground's so hard here, dude. Okay guys, so what we've found, the best technique so far, what we've discovered is to go in at an angle with the pump, like what Cameron's doing now, and then you work the same area of holes about two, three, four times. And then when you pull it back, you spray it on the floor behind you. And that seems to be what's working the best. We still need quite a few more, eh? Is that, I don't think it will last us too long, will it? We've got what, like a few casts there. I think you were better at this than what I was. <laughs> There we go guys. Check this Oki. It's Oki Pinoki. Hey, there's another one there too. Let's grab him quickly. Beautiful. Smashing it. Got one here. Not so far. Not too bad. But we're gonna need more for a decent day's fishing. Got, oh, got one. Got one, buddy. Okay. I'll look for more now. Okay. Sand prawn, aka cracker shrimp. Hey, you got another one here too. This looks like the place. Got another one, bro. Sweet. There's another one. Hey, Cameron's on a roll here, guys. Smashing it. What got so far? Yeah. There's another one. Oh. Got him. Got him. And we got another one here, too. Ones. I think it's that, that small one, but is that all from one hole? Yeah. 
got a worm, I've got a tapeworm here. Hey guys, Cameron's crushing it. Here's another big one. Look at that guy on the sand. Yo. Cameron's crushing it here. Wait, there's another two. Hang on. Let's get that one. And let's get this one here. There's one more here somewhere. Chuck the small ones back. Yeah, oh, it's pumping as a workout. Hey, there's another whole bunch here. Check at that, bro. Not so small. Fairly decent. Right there. Oh, here's another one, bro. You got just now. Check at that. That's a nice sand prawn. In South Africa, we call it a Cracker shrimp. Is it? Oh, there. Oh, beautiful one there. And little crackers, guys. Doing well. Oh, hang on, we got one here. Little oaks trying to escape here. Cameron's crushing it. So all the undersized ones and all the ones with eggs like this we're gonna throw back later. We just want to release them safely. Oh here's one. It's two. There we go, guys. Little sand prawn. Yeah, so if you just check the water here, you'll see some of the ones you missed. There's one. We've got one. Oh, there's another one that I pumped earlier. It came out. I'll tell you what, it's quite a workout. Oh, there's one there. There's one in there, bro. Alright, guys, these are the crackers I caught earlier. So. To show you that, I'm gonna be using just a running sinker trace. And yeah, you know, let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, there we go. Can we check it out on camera there? Oh. Oh, 
have we got here? It's like a little slimy. Got a small little, looks like a slimy. Yeah, I think this is a slimy. Oh yeah, that's definitely a slimy fish. Definitely got the name right. Hang on a little guy. Gonna let you go. Gonna let you go. On you guys, on, on, on. Getting a bit of a fight. Not sure what it is. Oh, it looks like a little silver biddy. Similar to a slimy, but not quite. Oh, I think it's a silver biddy. Quite an interesting fish species. Good for live bait. But we're gonna let this guy go. maybe not too sure oh it's a little stump nose that's what it is sorry my bad it's a little metal stump nose stump nears oh it's a little stumpy 